there's a subset of the human population that drools over serial killers. For a lot of serial killers, they have their own fan base. What is wrong with people? Could you imagine having the hots for a serial killer? Even if they were like objectively the most attractive person out there, would you really start a fan club or fan page or do fan art for them? Well, some people do, and some people make lists of the hottest serial killers out there. And I went across all these different lists, and the serial killers I've compiled for this video were the common denominators across the hot serial killer lists, which should not be a thing. So we're gonna see how attractive they really are, okay? Just from my judgmental point of view. <laughs> judgmental, honest, down-to-earth point of view. You're welcome. Okay, the first heinous heartthrob is Charles Smid, and um, he was known as the Pied Piper of Tucson, and apparently people have deemed him handsome or gorgeous or something of the sort. Okay, face alone, of course not including character and personality. Face alone, I'm gonna give Charles here a seven out of 10, okay? He's like relatively attractive. There's something off about the eyes. I mean, foreshadowing, I guess, or past shadowing. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's a relatively attractive dude, albeit a horrible person, but just face-wise, Pretty attractive. Seven out of ten. Next is the fan favorite, Ted Bundy. And you best believe he had one hell of a fan club. I'm sure he still does. There are many people, many women, who think he's absolutely to die for. I guess literally, because if they were alone in the alleyway with him, you best believe they would be. They don't think so, apparently. I have never, ever seen the fascination with Ted Bundy. He's like mildly almost attractive at best. I mean, you'll see it across all these guys. He's got, he just got that dead, creepy stare. You know what I mean? Like that blackness to his eyes. Crazy eyes, crazy eyes to the max. But rating him looks wise and not crime wise. I gotta say a very generous five out of 10. Extremely generous five out of 10. Don't get the hype. He's barely attractive. And he's also a deplorable, disgusting person or was. Rest in hell, Ted Bundy, <laughs> rest in hell. The next serial killer that I saw frequenting a lot of hot serial killer lists, somehow that's a thing, <laughs> is Peter Sutcliffe. And, and if I don't get the hype of Ted Bundy, then I'm absolutely baffled with this one. This guy is like edging the brink of like being ugly, like really ugly. I swear these people have never seen an attractive person in their life if they think he can rank anywhere on the attractive scale. He's so, he's ugly, I'm sorry, he's ugly. He's not even like edging the line next to ugly, he's like crossing, he's like falling over it. This guy's ugly. I mean, technically you could be uglier than him, so I'm gonna go with a, a two out of 10. This guy is so damn, he's like ugly, but also like grotesquely creepy. Of all the creepy eyes of these serial killers, this guy just takes the cake. Pure damn evil in those eyes and unadulterated ugly <laughs> over the rest of his face. Let's be honest, another one who's apparently a, um, fan favorite among the serial killer enthusiasts, and yes, that's a thing, is Richard Ramirez. And again, those damn eyes. The eyes are the window to the soul. Like all these guys have the most horrifying stares and looks to them, especially eye-wise. And as far as attractive goes, I know the whole side of the internet that loves serial killers thinks he's to die for, again, literally. <laughs> okay, I gave Ted Bundy a five, so basing off that scale, I'm gonna give this guy a, I'm gonna say 5.5 from all I've seen of him. He definitely got like the handsome Squidward look going on, the vibe, the facial structure. I don't even know if that's a good thing or not. 5.5. Uh, Next we got Paul John Knowles. And this guy, I mean, despite the fact he's a disgusting person, he's actually kind of attractive. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, for Paul here, I'm gonna have to give him, mm, I'm gonna say eight out of 10. Which I kind of feel dirty doing because he's a disgusting person. But this is just based on like looks alone. Okay? So based on looks alone, Paul John Knowles over here, I'd say he's an 8 out of 10. Okay. Okay, now we got Eric Rudolph, who's kind of less of a serial killer and more of a, a terrorist. Like he was a bomber. Uh, so I don't know why he was on so many of the serial killer lists, but he was on them. Okay. He's kind of got the Freddie Mercury vibe going on. And honestly, I never, um, I never found Freddie Mercury attractive. Okay. Uh, so I don't know how well this is gonna pan out for this guy. <laughs> okay, for Eric here, hmm, I'm gonna give him a, a six out of 10. Cause he's like relatively, like almost attractive, I guess, which I guess is what six translates to on the scale, but not really doing it for me the full way anyway, but 
I don't think that mustache is really working for him, the one he has in the majority of his pictures. But, I don't, actually, you know what? I don't think he'd be that great without it anyway, so. Six out of ten. Next serial killer that the freaks of the internet drool over is Charles Starkweather. Another Charles, huh? Must be in the name. <laughs> and he's from, like, the... Uh, he was, like, I think born in the 30s? He's, he's old. I mean, he's dead, thank goodness. It's like, I kind of get the appeal, but at the same time, I really don't. Like, there's just, he's like, oh, it's so weird. His face is, like, a mixture of, like, almost attractive, at the same time, not attractive at all. You know? He has some angles where he's, like, passable for almost attractive, but others, it's like... Based on Charles' appearance over here, I'm gonna have to give him a 4 out of 10. I'm sorry. He just got... Ugh, I don't know. So, yeah. What do you say? 4 out of 10? Yeah. I'm, I'm standing by that. Okay. This guy... I swear, some people just find serial killers hot because they are serial killers. Too many S's, I can't say my S's properly. <laughs> yeah, but some people just find them hot for the idea of it, which I don't know why you find someone who kills people as attractive, but they do, some do, some people do. If I meet someone and they haven't killed 30 women, ugh, what is this? This is 2023, that should be a given, right? <laughs> anyway, this guy, the first thing that came to mind is this, this guy, uh, Kenneth, did I even say his name? Kenneth Bianchi? <sighs> I didn't even say his name. Is it Bianchi? Bianchi? Kenneth Bianchi, okay? He looks like the creepy uncle of, of, is it Amanda? No, Miranda Sings, like her creepy uncle from the the show. <laughs> it looks just like him. Uh, you know, he kind of like, at least with the mustache photos of him, he's also giving a bit of Freddie Mercury. So maybe Freddie Mercury just has like the composite face of serial killers. <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> this guy looks like a Gary. I, I swear, and I stand by this, <laughs> just about every guy named Max or Gary is weird, is creepy weird, generally, okay? <laughs> For Kenneth, and from this point forward, Gary, <laughs> I would have to give him a 3.8 out of 10. I don't know why 3.8 came to me, but it just seems like it fits. 3.8, ugh, that, I felt, that feels too generous. Because he has a young photo here, and it's not that bad, so I'm factoring that into the equation. Yeah. 3.8 out of 10. Just feels right, you know. Just feels like it fits. Someone tell me why I saw Charles Manson on so many hot serial killer lists. Does that make sense to anybody? This dude is objectively disgusting. Like, everything, but especially appearance-wise. So creepy. He looks so insane. Even, like, photos of him young are not doing him any better. <laughs> they're not. They're really not. I don't get it. Okay, Charles Manson, he's not technically a serial killer, right? He just ran a cult and influenced his cultees to go kill people. A secondhand serial killer, if you will. <laughs> a serial killer by proxy. He looks like he would be a cult leader. This guy looks so insane. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> and for that reason and his lackluster face, I gotta give him a two out of 10. He's so, ugh, he's so gross. He's so gross. Beady, soulless eyes, that is the theme of like this video, but of serial killers in general. Beady, soulless, backless, callous eyes. Creepy eyes. Crazy stare. Like that. He even has a photo where he's like this. Ew, that's creepy. Ew. <laughs> Why does that creep myself out? <laughs> so yeah, shaky two out of 10. Could be even lower. Another fan favorite, another gem in the psychopath fan club <laughs> is Jeffrey Dahmer. Based off the photos I've seen of him, and like based on like I'm kind of basing these these guys up like when they're I don't know younger middle aged because no one really looks great when they get old okay hard truth so based on Jeffrey Dahmer's prime I guess you could say huh I gotta and yeah he's like weedy and nerdy and you know just gross all, <laughs> all around but you know what? I'm probably gonna give him a 7.5 out of 10 and yeah maybe that's being a little too generous and gracious being generous and gracious is what I do best. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. Anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, 7.5 out of 10. Yeah. Okay, well let me know what you think about these heartthrobs, the most attractive serial killers out there. Let me know if I rated any of them too high, because I already know I cannot rate any of them too low. 